1. Raw Materials The process starts with raw materials. Iron ore, coal, and limestone, in integrated steel plants, or scrap steel, in electric arc furnace, EF, plants, which are more common for rebar production today due to cost and environmental benefits. Fire 2. Melting. In blast furnaces, for virgin steel, or electric arc furnaces, for scrap. Materials are melted at extremely high temperatures, 1, 600 degrees C slash 2912 degrees Fahrenheit. The molten steel is purified to remove impurities like sulfur and phosphorus. Test Tube 3. Alloying. Alloying elements, like carbon, manganese, or chromium, may be added to achieve specific strength and ductility properties. Ice Cube 4. Casting. The molten steel is poured into continuous casting machines, forming semi-finished products like billets, typically 100 by 100 mm to 160 by 160 mm in cross-section. These billets are allowed to cool and solidify. Brick 5. Rolling. Billets are reheated in a furnace and passed through a series of rolling mills. They are gradually reduced to the desired diameter, e.g., 10 mm, 16 mm, 25 mm. Ribs or deformations are rolled into the surface to improve bonding with concrete. Droplet 6. Quenching and tempering, for TMT rebar. In thermomechanically treated, TMT, rebar. The hot rolled bar is rapidly cooled using water jets, quenching. This forms a hard outer layer while the core remains hot and soft. The heat from the core tempers the outer layer, producing a strong and ductile bar. Straight Ruler 7. Cutting and Inspection. The finished bars are. Cut to standard lengths, typically 12 meters. Inspected for size, shape, strength, and surface quality. Package 8. Packaging and Shipping. Bundled, labeled, and shipped to construction sites.